Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. Today we're talking about weightlifting and its effects on your jump shot, whether it can hurt or help your shot. To understand what weightlifting will do to your shot, you first have to understand what it will do to your body. If it's your first time lifting, the next morning you're going to experience a ton of pain and something called DOMS which is delayed onset muscle soreness. Basically just meaning that your muscles have torn apart and they're trying to regrow and come back bigger and stronger than they have before. You're gonna have a very hard time shooting the basketball immediately after your weightlifting session or even for the next few days, but that's gonna be okay. Just get out there, get your form shots in and practice from very close range to readjust and get to learn your body over again. What I'm referring to as weightlifting is any sort of training of the body, whether it be actually lifting weights, plyometrics or calisthenics, any way that you train your body to become bigger and stronger or faster. People lift for various different reasons. Some people just for weight loss, some people to look ridiculously huge like this guy, or some people just to build athleticism. Now let's talk about how this affects your shot. Now shooting is probably the hardest skill in basketball to master. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you have to understand that people are getting paid millions of dollars every single year to shoot below 50%, essentially to miss more shots than they make. So it's definitely not something that you can call easy. But put a guy like Steph Curry in a room alone by himself, and he's hitting at least 90 out of 100 threes. So mastering the art of shooting is not impossible, but in the same light, you have to understand that it's definitely something that's not easy. Now, youth players all over the world struggle to shoot the ball for various different reasons. One, because their form is horrible, and typically the only reason your form will ever be bad is because you lack strength and you lack power. So you create and compensate through different movements with your body to force the ball to get it to where you want to go, but you won't have a high accuracy doing so. Now I'm obviously a huge advocate for people shooting with correct form. I do understand that everyone shoots differently, I do understand that people have different body mechanics, but the reason why I'm so in tune and the reason why I focus so much on form is because shooting with correct form not only allows you to have great consistency, but it also allows you to get every single shot option available to you. I'll talk about what this means in a later video. As I mentioned earlier, youth players typically shoot with poor form due to a lack of strength. And if lifting weights correctly, you can help to alleviate that, helping you to learn how to use your body better and to become stronger to shoot the ball from long distance with correct form and to be able to maintain balance through difficult shots. Now as you can notice, all the shots that Dwayne Wade and I are shooting seem relatively effortless, no matter what distances or how the defender were guarding him. Some people are naturally born stronger and more athletic, and unfortunately some people aren't. But lifting weights for functionality and performance can absolutely help you to shoot the ball from further distances, to have greater control of your body, being able to move defenders off, play defense, it's one thing that can help you improve your athleticism. It can also help with your consistency. As your muscles start to die down and stamina sets in, your legs will go out but your upper body can continue to maintain good balance, posture, and form into your mid-range and your close shots and sometimes even your deeper shots if you're strong enough up top. I can already hear the questions coming in. Coach, when should I start lifting? And typically that answer is going to be around the age of puberty. Highly suggest doing a lot of body weight, dips, pull ups, leg raises, push ups, etc. Do some personal research or talk to a strength and conditioning coach and find out how you can improve your body so you're able to shoot from longer distances and play this game at a more athletic pace without having to compromise or compensate by using unorthodox methods to get the ball to the rim or to get your shot off. I'm gonna wrap it up by saying this. You're gonna struggle a lot as your body continues to change within the weight room, but you're gonna thank yourself a lot later 
because now you'll be a lot stronger, be able to shoot the ball effortlessly, you'll be able to shoot it from long distances, and you won't have to compensate by doing any movements like this to get that ball up from the three-point line. Don't worry about getting too big or too strong to the point when you can no longer shoot the ball. That's going to take you at least five or six years of just straight weightlifting every single day to look like that and not like this. So stay in the gym, get stronger, improve your jump shot, work on your form, and you'll thank yourself for it. I know that I've mentioned it before, but I do offer customized and personalized shooting instruction, analysis, and breakdowns for you to help you improve your shot if that's what you're looking for. I have helped many different people with their shots, and I hope to help you one day with it also. Just reach out to me on Instagram, shoot me a DM, I'll get back to you and I'll let you know the pricing and the full details on how we can get it started, and I'm excited to work with you and help you to build your shot.